Well, we travelled to Woking this weekend, and what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, they have an incredible home record. They um, think they're sitting fourth in the home form. I think they've got 30 odd points from 17 games. So, yeah, it's going to be a tough task. They've, on the back of two losses, um, obviously the recent one in Ebbsfleet on Tuesday evening, they possess good quality. They've got good personnel throughout the whole team. And like I say, week in, week out, every game at this level is going to be hard. They've got quite a young squad, haven't they? What sort of pros and cons do you see to this? Um, they got a team that obviously listen because they try and play the philosophy of which the man manager wants to play. They look to try and get on the ball and dictate that. And for me, we, we have a plan of how we're going to counteract their strengths. And they got energy, um, they press with an intent, they got legs. So yeah, I think them being young is a positive. Um, we come up against them here the first time round and it was a tough task, it was hard, it was a very physical match. They obviously lost the likes of Innie Effie now and Joe Ward, but they brought in Anthony Cook, they brought in Jonathan Edwards, they brought in Cox from QPR, so they've replaced the, the boys they've lost with some good strength and yeah, I can imagine they're going to want to continue their fine home form. It's the middle period of a, a number of fixtures in quick succession, what challenges does this pose and how do you manage the players? Um, yeah, it's tough. You look, at, we went to Kings Langley, yeah, we dipped out four or five. We still played a strong side. Then on Saturday, we played Gateshead with, with the 11 that played and the boys that come on. And they were asked to go and put another shift in on Tuesday evening. Um, and today, you can't really do much because you're trying to get the boys back to full fitness, get them nice and sharp come Saturday. So it was a nice, uh, a nice change of environment. We took them down to the village hotel gym and were done a, a strict session and into the pool so I fully expect them to come in tomorrow Friday ready and waiting to be prepped regards to Woking. Um, I can envisage we'll have Kane Smith and Tom Champ back which is brilliant news to bolster the squad that we already have um, and then they come into contention for Saturday against Woking. Our away record's no secret now, has this been mentioned to the team? Um, I spoke about Woking's home form and then obviously counteract to that with our away record and it's been very pleasing obviously we've only lost two games on the road in however many fixtures but I, I just think that our, our performances of late have been positive I think it's been good that we can mirror what we've done on the road at home in the two wins against Gateshead and Maidstone we travel to Woking it's not far but we've got boys that obviously played for Woking um, in the likes of Bruno, Kieran Mata, Rico and Joe Quigley so it becomes personal to them to an extent, but it's another fixture in the National League. It's another game and another opportunity for us to get maximum points. And yeah, we'll guard against where we feel they're strong, where we feel that they can cause us problems, and hopefully we can nullify that. And if we're on blob like we have been of late, and we can continue the fine form that we're in, then hopefully come Saturday we'll have a positive result. A fixture against Woking is the chairman's thousandth game. How much would you owe the pause to come down and celebrate with the club for this? Yeah, it's a massive achievement. Um, I think it spans over 19 seasons, so huge accolade to him. Um, and what he's done at this football club has been nothing short of magnificent. You look at the infrastructure we have in place now, the, the training facilities, the new pitch, the new stand that's going behind the goal and the plans for the new stand that we're standing in currently at the minute. And you just got to give him as much credit as possible because for me, he gave me an opportunity three years ago and... He believed in, <coughs> excuse me, he believed in everything that I could do and I think I'm repaying that with what we're, we're giving him on the football fit pitch and the crowds are up, especially from the last two years and the percentages have gone up year on year and hopefully they can travel on, on Saturday and support us as much as support the chairman. I believe there's a couple of free coaches that the chairman's put on and I believe they're already filled, so which is a positive sign and if you can get down there and support the boys and they yeah, love it, come, come three o'clock walking out with, with a fan base that they can hopefully give them something to cheer. Mm -hmm.